There are hundreds of dietary or natural supplements available on the market today. This is a market that is very loosely supervised. There are also many claims as to the benefits of natural dietary supplements. Unfortunately, many of the claims made by the promoters cannot be substantiated by any serious epidemiological studies. The FDA recognizes only a few dietary or natural products as having been proven to work. Among the supplements proven to work are niacin, also known as vitamin B3. Niacin is useful in improving cholesterol and lipid profiles. Certain types of fish oils rich in N3 fatty acids or marine origin omega-3 known as EPA are seen as beneficial to one's heart health. Finally, there are the phytosterols or plant sterols and stanols known to curb the absorption of the bad LDL cholesterol. As for the efficacy of niacin, the evidence is well documented and overwhelming. In one of the many studies, such as the COMPEL study, niacin was used in conjunction with statin drugs like Lipitor, Crestor, and Zocor. The combination reduced the amount of LDL or bad cholesterol by as much as 54%, mostly the effect of the statin drugs. However, while the statin drugs are not known to raise HDL or the good cholesterol to any significant degree, when combined to niacin, the desirable HDL was increased by 22 and 24 percent for the widely prescribed Lipitor and Crestor. The lipid profile was also greatly improved. When it comes to triglycerides, for Lipitor and Crestor, niacin helped reduce triglycerides by 40 and 48 percent, respectively. Another study worth looking at is the Seacoast study, where niacin was used with simvastatin. It was found that adding 2 grams of niacin helped to reduce non-HDL cholesterol by up to 22.5%. The undesirable LDL cholesterol also decreased by 14.2%. For the, the desirable HDL, and this is where niacin is known to be the most useful, the HDL was increased by 24.9%. Triglycerides level were also greatly improved. They were curbed by 38%. One of the subclasses of LDL cholesterol is known as LPA, and it can be very harmful. Its level decreased by 25% with the combination of simvastatin and niacin. Note that flushing is a side effect of niacin. Flushing may last a few minutes. What now about omega-3 supplements? And what about the fish oil hype then? Those omega-3 or N3 fatty acids that have been proven to be beneficial to your heart health generally come from marine sources and contain a significant amount of a special omega-3 fatty acid called APA. They were obtained from fatty fish such as salmon and mackerel. The JELA study, short for Japan EPA Lipid Intervention Study, looked at the effect of EPA on the incidence of major coronary events. A control group was studied for a period of almost five years, and data regarding coronary events, such as heart attacks, was obtained. Similarly, a marine omega-3 or EPA consuming group was also studied for the same period of time, and the equivalent data was recorded. It was found that the group that consumed 1.8 gram per day of EPA derived from fatty fish had fewer major coronary events, an impressive 19% less than the control group. Note that people who take anticoagulants should speak with their doctor before taking fish oil capsules or supplements in order to improve their lipid profile, given that fish oil is also a mild anticoagulant. It was mentioned earlier that plant sterols or phytosterols had been demonstrated to work. They help in preventing some of the harmful LDL cholesterol from being reabsorbed in the bowel 
thus forcing its elimination. A major study published by the American College of Nutrition found that 1.6 grams of phytosterols per day would reduce total cholesterol by 7.4% and LDL by 10.2%. It doesn't interfere with the good HDL cholesterol absorption. Increasing the doses to 2.8 grams per day would further reduce the LDL. It decreased by 15%, but this is probably as far as it will go. Phytosterols are generally well tolerated. We always ingest a very small amount when we eat fruits and vegetables or plant-based foods. To sum up, there are only a few dietary or natural supplements that have been demonstrated to work significantly. Among these are niacin, omega-3 fatty acids from fatty fish, and plant sterols or phytosterols. Remember the supplements can have possible side effects or can even interact with your medication. They can never replace your prescribed medication. Patients should always ask a doctor for advice with respect to taking dietary natural supplements.